Well, here we are in the kitchen again, cooking up the alphabet. Today is letter T, and T is for tricks and treats. You heard me right, not trick or treat, tricks and treats. And I'll tell you why in a minute. First, I'm gonna show you what I cooked up today. Now, it might not be Weight Watcher friendly, but it's a sure fun way to treat your kids, grandkids, hubby, nieces, nephews to a fun Halloween. So, my first thing that I made was chicken pot pie. See the carrots and the peas in there and the chicken and the gravy. Mmm, looks pretty good, huh? Well, secondly, how about nice toasted cheese sandwiches? Yeah, they're always good. Kids really crave those. And last, oh, I hope it doesn't melt, we have our ice cream sundae. Fennel with the cherry on top with a little bit of gravy there. So you make these up for your kids on the night before they trick or treat or before they go out. And you're gonna see a big surprise on their face because it's not always what the eye sees. It's kind of funny sometimes you expect it to taste like one thing and you're surprised when it doesn't. My dad was up the other day and we were happened to be just talking about apple cider. And uh, I poured him a drink and he drank and he got the most awful look on his face. I said, what's the matter? He said, I was expecting cider. Here, I'd given him some Gatorade, and um, since we're talking about apple cider, he assumed I was going to give him some, I guess. And he, not that the um, Gatorade was bad, it's not what was expected. And that's what today's recipes are. It's not what's expected. So let me tell you first, this is not chicken pot pie. And I'll tell you how I made this. This is actually pudding with candy in it. So when your kids dig in for some pot pie, they're going to be, whoa, what is this? They're going to have a little surprise. And here's how I made it. First of all, I just bought some simple sugar-free vanilla pudding. And then I bought, um, you know when you go to the grocery store and they have the aisle with the candy, you can buy single pieces of candy? Well, I bought a green, a couple green Tootsie Rolls, some green Laffy Taffy, an orange Tootsie Roll, and a yellow Tootsie Roll. I put them in the microwave for 10 seconds, that's all. And here's how they came out. The yellow, or well, the orange came out like this. And here's what I did. I just sliced it down, took a little piece after it was soft, take it between your fingers and make a little cube. And look there, there's your carrots. Same thing with the peas. Take a little bit of Laffy Taffy or a little bit of the Tootsie Roll. It's warmed up already. Roll it just like you're playing with some Play-Doh. Or roll it up. And there's your pea. And lastly, I just took the yellow, did the same thing, cut off a little piece, and made some corn. Now, what about the chicken? Well, I just took some dried apples and dried mangoes, cut them up a little bit, threw them in, and look at that. Doesn't that look like chicken pot pie? They're going to be in for a treat. Now, the crust. What I did for the crust, I just bought a pre-made pie crust, just like this that you buy in the freezer. And I cut out the center, and I make, cut it to fit my little pie dish here. Then I put it in on top of the pie dish, and then I rolled up a ball of foil and put it on the inside so that it would make a bubble. Otherwise, it will sink down if there's nothing in it. I baked it 350 for 20 minutes, came out, let it cool, popped it right off. Then you put in the pudding, sprinkle on the goodies on top, and there you have the chicken pot pie. Now, you probably guessed that the rest of this isn't what it seems to be either. How about these delicious looking toasted cheese sandwiches? Mm -mm. They bite into those. They're going to be surprised. It's pound cake. I bought a Sara Lee, sliced it down, put it in the broiler for about five minutes on high so it got all toasty. Looks like toast, doesn't it? And then I just bought some yellow icing, just the yellow, added a teeny bit of red dye to it to make it a little oranger, mixed it up, put it on top, put the pieces together, and there's your toasted cheese. Last for dessert. Mm -hmm. Ice cream sundae? Wow, Mom, you're going to be the hit till they dig into it. Doesn't it look good? Well, what I did for those, I just bought pre-made potatoes, thawed them out, and used my ice cream scoop. I just scooped 
four or five little ice cream scoops out of there, put it in the dish, heat it up a little bit of gravy for the caramel sauce, put on top, and topped it off with a sweet cherry pepper. So there we have everything for a trick and a treat. I think your kids will have a blast, especially if they're not home and you create all this stuff and you say, okay, kids, come on in, time for dinner. And they dig into the pot pie that's not a pot pie, the sandwiches that aren't sandwiches. And one I know they're probably a little disappointed when they dig in and it's not really ice cream. But I think you're going to get lots of giggles and laughs. And I think it'd be a fun way to trick your little ones. And like I said, even your nieces, nephews, hubbies, um, whoever um, eats with you, I think it'd be kind of fun to do something like this. So I hope you enjoyed that. I sure had fun making the things. Um, I had a great time. And I think um, it's fun to lighten up things and have fun. And again, um, you can do this now for Halloween. Perhaps you want to save it and do it for April Fool's. And I think it's a lot of fun. You can also, by the way, you can cut up those um, pound cakes and do the same thing and make them look like french fries too. So if you want to try that too. So as always, let me know. Let me know um, all the squeals and giggles and laughter that comes from your um, home this week on Halloween. And um, otherwise, just have a real healthy, happy, safe Halloween and healthy, happy cooking as always. Till next time.